Hello there, beautiful people. Welcome back again to our channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes. I'm working for you. So if you have any questions and any requests, make sure to drop them in the comments. I would be happy to make a video for you and provide you with the information you need. Just like this one, because this is actually a question that keeps repeating on my channel, which is how to fix the product that still has inventory but shows up as sold out on the product page. So on this channel, we always do the complicated things that you cannot do on the team editor. If you are a subscriber, you already know that. But I get the same question and over and over and over, which is how to fix the sold out product that has inventory and shows up as sold out. So I got tired of replying the same question and over and over. I get to make a video on whoever get the same question again can easily watch the video and fix the problem. And in this video, I will not just talk, I would actually show you a live example of a product or my Shopify store, this one right here that you see in front of me, that actually has the inventory added but shows up as sold out. And I will show you how to fix that issue using a live demonstration. But before I proceed to the live demonstration, I will go to some extra steps because there is some other uh, reasons that you might have this issue. So I will double check everything just follow along with me and check everything I will show you in this video and if you got it right you got it working congrats if not watch the next step because in this video I will show you the live demonstration on a product that I have stock on it however it shows up as sold out and without any more talking let's just jump to it. As I said as you can see this is Shopify down team I always start with completely new team nothing on it each video adds more customizations by the video like 70 or 60, the team would be completely different. As you can see, everything here has been that done in tutorials, like even the recent sales on your Shopify store or even the abandoned cart. I will close the page and this thing will show up, which is an abandoned cart that will only show up as the user trying to leave. But I know you're trying to fix an issue. I got you. Let me close this one and let me close completely the Shopify store and show you the first thing you have to check, which is the inventory for product. So just double check with a product. Let me access a product here so I can show you. Let me head over to this necklace right here. So if I scroll down a little bit on the variance in here, you will see a valuable. This one is basically the inventory for your uh, products. So I have two, two, two. Double check with this one and make sure you have products for each variant. Or you can do that if you have too many variants, you can select the whole variants, click on the three dots and click on edit quantity right here and it will show you an option where you can adjust the quantity for all variants at once so you don't have to do it on all variants in case you have too many products but in my case I have two for each variant it shows six in total so if you double check all the variants and indeed have quantity no worries I got you click on the settings right here at the bottom right bottom left corner sorry and it will show you the settings on your Shopify store and simply click on locations this one right here and it will show you the locations that has to do with the shipping in my case I have a location in here just make sure it's active or you can click on it actually and double check with this one this option for fulfillment as you can see this one says shipping it's on not off and if you see this option is grayed out as this one right here it means that this is the default location and you don't have any other locations enabled so you don't have to do anything if you are have green here on and this one is grayed you're good to go now the live demonstration as i said i have a product that I have exactly this problem and by the way this problem mainly happens for products that you import using third-party applications like those applications that will import products for other web, from other websites like Amazon or CG dropshipping and so on. This is mainly happens in those cases, but sometimes it happens on others as well. So let me search for that product. I can show you that actually in demonstration. It's called Bengal earring or something like that. This one Bengal bracelet. So let me actually access the product, the product page for, uh, first. So I can show you that it's indeed sold out and here is as you can see this product is sold out as you can see and by the way sales counter that keeps increasing by the minute check out the channel i already shared that for free so as you can see this product is sold out however if i did access it in here which is bengal bracelet check this out i have in stock six products but in here on the product page it shows sold out so what's going on in here this is mainly because it has been imported using an application and it, it actually splitted a product the same product but different variants it split them to different product that's why it says here already added or used sorry by one other item view in bulk editor as you can see 
However, you can easily bypass this without having to deal with any inventory. You just have to disable this button. Track quantity, you can disable it. Or if you don't want to, you can click on continue. You can enable this one, continue selling when out of stock. However, you can easily bypass that by disabling completely track quantity. Now, if I click on save button and I get back in here and reload the page, let me do that again, it takes a couple of seconds. Come on, I did disable track, come on. And here it is. I have to reload the page like three times, so keep that in mind as well. And as I said, it keeps increasing. It was 60, right? Now it's 61, so make sure to check out the channel. As you can see, now I can add the product to the cart and it's fully purchasable. I can buy it even earlier. It shows sold out and I have six products in here. However, if it's really sold out and you want to add a button that says find similar and you can set a custom collection for that button so the user can actually see a button here says find similar products. Make sure to check out the channel because I already made that video. But for now, that's how you fix the product has inventory but shows up as sold out. And I did a live demonstration as you saw. And hey, it could increase it again. One more sale. <laughs> so make sure to check out the channel. As I said, if you have any questions or any video requests, make sure to drop them. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.